Kama Jesuno ni masogo. Now you can stretch out your hands to the Lord. That... Kama Mogambe, Mukama, and Dimo Masogo, Zizem Kunonia. Tell the Lord that I am here before you. I'm searching for you, Lord. No, you are for Jesus. I am looking for your help, O oh Lord. No, you are for Jesus. I am looking for your healing, O oh Jesus. No, you are for Jesus. I am looking for your mercy, O oh Jesus. No, you are for I am searching for your face, O oh Lord. I am before you, O oh Jesus. Ena masongo mugamba. Continue to tell him like that. Yongera kukukiriza kwa mga enti yezu ndi masoko. As you increase your faith, tell him that Lord I am before you. Sina gwe nonya okuja kwa gwe mokama wansi. I'm looking for no other person other than you my Lord. Kubanga mugwe mwemuli echoku damu. Because in you are all answers. Gwe ina echoku damu elie chinuma. You have the answers to my pain. Yezu ndi masoko. Jesus, I am before you. I also want you to tell him the reason to why you are before him. Tell him that, Lord, I am before you because of this and that. When we are before the Lord, we can speak for ourselves. Before the Lord, we can pray for ourselves. Therefore, right now, the Lord is listening to your voice. He's not very far from you as you think. But because you have a challenge, that's why maybe you think the Lord is far. But as of now, you are crying, but the Lord is closer to you than ever. So you tell him that, Lord, I'm before you because of you. I am before you because I have this disease. I am before you, Lord, because the deaths are about to come. Lord, I am before you because I have so many enemies continue to pray like that continue to talk with your own words the more you talk to Jesus the more you believe the more you have the power from above when you talk to Jesus then Jesus is more in you when you talk to Jesus the more you talk about your poverty when you are before the Lord, the more He is going to increase power in you. So you will be able to take away your poverty. So you don't be lazy. This is a very crucial moment. It is an important moment because Jesus is healing all of us. The Lord has already started touching some of you as we speak to Him. Some of us are feeling more sad, tears are coming down. But tell him that Lord this is why I'm here Some of the sick are feeling that the pain is increasing But you tell the Lord that this is the reason to why I'm before you he is here to heal us. Here to heal you. So you continue to pray with faith. Tell him that Lord I know you are the one who delivers me. You are the one who heals me. So I'm here because of this. So tell him that Lord before you there is nothing impossible you so you are able to do mine also. Go 
continue to use your own words to talk to Jesus. Jesus, we are here before you. We have come as a big community of believers. Lord, we know that with you there is nothing impossible. You are a God who follows up your word until it has done what you have sent it to do. You tell us in Matthew 7, 7 that we should pray. And we will receive. That we search. And we will find. That we knock. And the doors will be opened unto us. So Lord, as we are here before you, we pray for healing. Lord, we pray for deliverance. Lord, we pray that you exalt us. You pray for your protection. We look for your face, O Lord. Your merciful eyes towards those who are crying. Your eyes which are able to see where there is need and you put them there. And we knock at your doors, oh Jesus. Do not close the doors outside when we are not inside. Don't close us outside as debts are overwhelming us. You should not leave us outside. You should not leave us outside. When we are suffering a lot of diseases. When demons and evil spirits are punishing us. You are not a son of a, a human being to tell us. You tell us that when we pray we will receive. And you mean it. To so right now we pray for healing of every illness and disease. We pray that you deliver us right now from all bondage. And Lord, we ask you that you open the doors of blessing, the doors of victory, the doors of a good life. The doors of a holy life. Lord, we are here before you. Now you can open your hands. The Lord has heard your prayer. But why are you not being healed? Why are you not being set free? Why do you pray but you are not healed? Why have you done everything but there is no difference? You fast to every day you are thin because of fasting, but why are not your prayers answered? There is a reason to why you're not being healed and it is your fault. There is something that is hindering your deliverance, yet you can't look at it. There is something nearby you. The evil spirits disturbing you and the devil that is making you sick the devil who brings enemies to you who brings the wizards is seated where you are you are the one to take him away in the book of Judges Chapter 6 25 and following The word of God says That when the Israelites were suffering The Lord brought in Gideon to protect them And when Gideon prepared a battle yes. Against the Israelites He saw there were many bondages 
Nasibwa. And they could not be protected by the Lord. There were so many things attached to them. And whenever God wanted to save them, he had no way. Because they had put many hindrances before them. And the father of Gideon had put so many portraits of the evil and had made many altars to the devil where they would sacrifice for him. And he had put their days of gathering and they offer sacrifice to the devil. So that king who made the children of God go astray. Maybe you are the one because you are crying of sickness. There are many things near you, but you are very responsible. Maybe you still say that this is for my spirits of the ancestors. So maybe you can say that this was for my father. I am not responsible. Maybe you say this is for my wife. I am not concerned. And then some of them were brought by yourself, but you neglected them. I can't forget one lady. She came and told me that the devil strangles me every night. The demons come and kick my house. And sometimes they use me as their wife. As we shared. And the Lord inspired me. Nti omuchalo no aina ebintu byalubale munjuye and told me that this lady here has ancestral fetishes in her house nemugamba munjuye mulimu ebyo busamize so i told her that in your house are, are witchcraft things nagamba joseph sikitof and she said no you are not right nemugamba katonda talimba i told her god does not tell lies nangamba ebintu byoyogerako and she told me that the things you are talking about mazo mwaka mulambanga nabivako it's now a whole year that I'm not doing them at all. And the bag and the stick that I brought, I put them in the store. I have never gone there again. She brought them and offered them the whole house and she put them in the store. They are still there in the house and she says she's no longer responsible. And all the covenants all the agreements are still standing and she says she's not Boya, there. But when she told me like that, I felt like laughing, but I didn't. You cannot say that this bag for the ancestors is in the room, but we are no longer responsible. And we are so prayerful. The devil will attach himself on one small thing. Whenever he senses something that he can attach himself to, and then he will sit on that item, and he brings poverty, and then you will be sick all the time, and the children will fall, accidents will become accidents. If you borrow money, you can never pay. Until time comes when you borrow from one bank to pay another bank. And when the wizards begin to bewitch you, you will be bewitched. Because the reason to why it is like that is in your life. The devil is in your very house. Even if it is a nail of a bag. And you still have it in your house. When we pray like this, you feel a bit okay. But when the devil comes back, he will strike you down. With those things with you, you can never be delivered. If you still love your ancestral spirits with all their items, 
you can never be healed. So this is the moment. We are in the season of healing. And being set free from all. So this is the time for you to give up all the things. Take them to your nearby parish. And tell the priest that I'm fed up of this. And when you tell him like that. Ask him to pray for you so that the covenants are cancelled and then you detach yourself from the devil then you start a new life otherwise you will not be healed and you will say priests are not anointed the intercessors are not anointed and God does not help me yet it is your fault so you detach yourself from the devil and walk with the Lord. You detach yourself from the demons and walk with the Lord. And the Lord will heal you. If there is nobody rich in your family, you will be number one. If you have no marriage, it will be you to go to church. If you don't have children, you will have kids. The Lord wants to lift you up today. He wants to take you to another level. He wants to come and dwell in you, then he will do miracles for you and then for others. But you detach yourself. And don't say that the Lord has not helped me. Don't say that the Lord does not care. You examine yourself. You examine yourself. Bagamba some people say that what you're talking about I've already put them under my house have you ever revealed that to any priest or any intercessor your house may not be brought down but if you tell the devil in broad daylight he will run away you know that you were went, you went somewhere and you swallowed something. You swallowed stones and many other things. But when you come before prayerful people, you say, just pray for me. You made vows with the devil. Have you ever talked about that? This is the moment the Lord to help you and you have to do something. Jesus Jesus is so good he cannot fail to deliver you if you pray. He wants to set you free and heal you completely. He is going to do it for as long as you detach yourself. Why do you attach yourself to anger? Why do you have hatred in your heart? Why can't you forgive? The word of God says that those who hurt you pray for them for the blessing why do you curse everybody and in Syrac 28 that you know that you are also a human being and you will die uh, so how can you pray that the Lord will heal you you pray for mercy from the Lord yet you yourself can't forgive that is the way of the devil examine yourself now now you can stretch out your hands for five minutes only my lord Jesus unforgiveness is my sin and is the food I was eating so many people are in the prison of my heart but today Lord I forgive all dead and living the ones I remember and the ones I don't the ones I remember and I cry the ones I remember and I become so angry 
Bible I forgive all of them Lord fill me with your power that helps me to forgive that I may forgive all who will hurt me thank you Jesus I praise you Jesus thank you Jesus I'll praise you Jesus thank you Jesus I praise you Jesus now you can open your hands my Lord Jesus I proclaim you as my king and my savior I have no other lord I have no other God apart from you Jesus I proclaim that you are the son of God who suffered and died on the cross and then you rose up because of me you went up to heaven and prayed for me for the Holy Spirit from today on I proclaim you as my savior and lord of my life not the devil I will not attach myself to the devil I want to denounce the devil of unforgiveness the spirit of witchcraft I denounce you and all witchcraft I denounce you the one that I inherited and the ones that I was put in and the ones that I brought for myself I denounce you before the Lord you have no share in my life my life belongs to Christ I cancel all your covenants what do you remember that you made a vow with when they bathed you under the shrub you said in the station you said some words. so say in the name of Jesus I cancel that covenant you, made, you said some words as they gave you sticks of brushing in the morning that as you uh, in your business you brush with this and the medicine that you would sprinkle in people's homes you say that in the name of Jesus I cancel all the covenants of the devil uh, some vows some covenants were made as they were in initiating you some of them you did them together as a family and then you made banquets and then you cut goats and you cut sheep and many other things you can cancel those covenants also in the name of Jesus continue you said devil I denounce you even the covenant I made in this place in this so and so's place even in my father's home in the shrine of my father I cancel them you know them very well cancel them because why you are still bound is in you you say I am no longer with it Dev, I'm no longer part with you and in the name of Jesus I order you to come out of my life I order you to come out of my life you hate the devil you put on the anger of the Lord tell the devil come out tell him that Jesus is in me and is setting you out I have no authority but Jesus is setting you out the devil I brought or people brought or was put to me the one I was born with come out and come out of my family come out of my things you come out of my body you had put that diseases you had put that misfortune you had put that barrenness I can't see you pray I can't hear you pray you said devil I chase you forever I am fed up of you no problem I inherited you. You are not my king. 
come out of my people. Leave my money alone. You leave my money alone. The one that you buried. You be tough. That devil is making you sad. It's making you poor. And he's making you so weak. This is the time for it to go. Not in our power. But in the power of the one who comes and is in us. Continue to do that. Continue to cancel the covenant. This shouldn't be a meeting. But command him in the name of the Lord. Tell him that leave all my things. Leave me. Stand your end the entire. You spirit of sickness. Stand your the Spirit of misfortune. Stand your book of Spirit of not stand going to church. Stand your end You got to go. Of stand your end to church. Curses you go. Where do go onta? Which craft you go? Ngasi da babu akuta. I can't see him leave you. He would be crying and going. He would be shaking as he goes. Because the owner of the authority is here. Now you can put up your hands. Lord Jesus, all power and authority belong to you. I believe you are in us in this moment. In the power of your word Lord that when you said that we will cast out demons and you told us that we will do much more than you did so on this channel that you gave us in the power of your name in the power of your word Lord let every power spirit behind power I command it to come out of that woman. Every spirit behind barrenness. Let it open its mouth. Cry and if you are opening up your mouth now. May that spirit come out of you. Go like wind. You witchcraft. Don't you speak. In the name of Jesus. In the power of his word. Come out of that child. Come out of that man. Cry and sing. You be uprooted and go with your diseases. All diseases. All infirmities. All infirmities. Come out and go. In the name of Jesus. I call upon fire to burn you. Where are you seated and put in fire? Where are you uprooting yourself and put fire? You sickness. You death. We warumbe tanda. You death. Mudachi keno yoke bo amuliro. Be burnt now. Sirira muri nyaliya Yesu. Be burnt now. Omukazo yomute. Leave that woman. Yogere di guestani alinge misota. You like you are like snakes. Gane mudachi keno limu kwenyola. Even right now you are. Furuma ngo ita mukamwa. Come out through the mouth. Furuma ngo ita matu. Come out through the ears. Furuma ita muri katuli akari kumobiri. Through every hole of the body. Leka bakutu ya no gende. You sweat and go. You be vomited and gone. You come through the nose. You come through the mouth. You have nowhere to attach yourself. In the name of Jesus, I command you. You go to the cross. Come out of that fruma. Go with your disease. Spirit of sickness. Spirit of barrenness. Spirit of poverty. Shake and go. You shake and go. Not in our own power. But in the name of Jesus. And in the spirit. Therefore come out of God's spirit. You are making him lame. You come out now. Come out of those legs. Come out of those legs. You leave them. In the name of Jesus. 
in the power and authority of Jesus because of the power of Jesus and the fire from it we want to proclaim fire in the authority and power of the name of Jesus to approach you from there and come out to you you are making him you are making him leave him alone go out open your mouth God. some things are coming out. Out. the demons now they are going the jeans they are going now the horns they are going now all the blessings they are going like rats they are like insects. they are going to protect you you come from the lake you come from the mountains you come from the religion you are the spirits of light you are coming out now. in the name of Jesus they are going away they can't remain the power is that you chase them. Our Lord is taking them. Fire is burning them. We proclaim fire. We tell you fire. 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 Omukazo ya liku radio muvemu. Omusajo ya kutesimu ya liku Facebook muvemu. Stani obu avu. Tukuo cho mlilo fire. Yes mlilo. Yes oruganda teka wagulue mikonojo. You can put up your hands. Mpulira manya goku onye zebu wakati. I feel power to heal now. Kuwabuli muzimu gusibula. Because every demon is going away. Tualo kuonye zebu wako mudachike. Receive your healing now. Tualo kuonye zebu wako vamanyi geri nyali ya yesu. Receive your healing from the power of the name of Jesus. Tualo kuonye zebu wako vamu chigambo cha katonda. Receive your healing from the word of God. Ye katonda atu wadobu yinza mukasera kano. He has given us authority now. Okuonye avaru wadebo na. To heal every sick. Uonye zebu wako mulinyali ya yesu. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. You be set free in the name of Jesus. Come out of the grave in the name of Jesus. Come out of the shrine in the name of Jesus. Have a new life in the name of Jesus. You be healthy again in the name of Jesus. If you are lame, you can walk around in the name of Jesus. Not in our power, but in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. You be healed now. You be healed now. Yes, Mukama to Kwebaza. We want to thank you, Lord. You are a God who heals. We believe that in this moment, some of your children are proclaiming you. Those who are very sick can now jump up. Those who are poor, those who are in despair, they are being healed now. From you, O Lord, we want to praise you, Lord. You are a powerful God. Let everybody who has healed be healed forever. And the devil may not come back. The one who is set free may be your witness from today. Power to heal is around us. The Lord has healed you. Now clap your hands as you stand The Lord has set you free. Can you praise him? He has brought you out of the grave. Can you say amen? As the power to heal continues. Some people feel no difference but at nine. The Lord will show you that all the demons in your life have been burnt. The Lord will show you all the white snakes are being crushed. And he's doing it now. Now. You will see yourself come out of prison because the Lord who opens up prisons is doing it to you. Continue to thank Him. Tell Him that I thank you for healing 
cancer. Thank you for healing my age. Thank you for healing my pressure. Thank you for healing my poverty. Thank you for paying my debts. Thank you for lifting me up. Thank you for making me one of your people. Thank him in these seconds. As you clap louder to the Lord. I thank you Jesus. I praise you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. I praise you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. I praise you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you Jesus. We thank you Lord. We praise you Lord. We thank you Lord. We thank you Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. So everybody will have a new song. And your soul will sing to the Lord forever. Whenever you remember this moment of your healing, then your soul will praise the Lord. We feel his power is moving among us. I pray that this power will remain upon you forever. Pull 